what's the good word, y'all? DKB here. So we finally got some insightful comments about uh, why Nathaniel Hackey could really be successful in this New York Jets offense from a former player of his and Chad Henney, who actually just secured another Super Bowl ring as the backup quarterback for the Chiefs. Uh, but I think it was one of the more relevant comments that I've seen uh, from Nathaniel Hackett that didn't really have anything to do with his tenure during the Broncos, uh, which, as mentioned during one of my recent, uh, I guess, interviews, if you want to call it that, that I did, um, it was mentioned that there was a lot more to the situation in Denver than uh, a lot of people were probably you know, really even in tune with um, the most highlighted feature was that Russell Wilson came in and, uh, you know, Nathaniel Hackett had a plan, uh, the offense he wanted to run, what he wanted to look like, the play concepts, and Russell Wilson wanted no parts of it. Uh, he essentially wanted to run what he did in Seattle and uh, a la, you know, Adam Gase and Mike McCagnin, uh, Nathaniel Hackett lost that power struggle, uh, which makes sense when you consider the investment that, you know, Denver ownership ended up okaying just to bring in Russell Wilson. So you don't want to actually rustle his feathers, um, I guess, by forcing him to adhere to, you know, the scheme that you're running. But it wasn't the best setup. Uh, it doesn't make any sense for you guys to, you know, for Denver to have brought him in um, and he wasn't going to be OK with the offense that Hackett was going to run. But that is a clown ship of their own doing in regards to what Chad Henney was mentioning. And by the way, he's one of the few vocal supporters we've seen when it comes to Nathaniel Hackett and his ability to produce effective offenses, which we've seen him do under a number of quarterbacks, as we've talked about. E.J. Manuel, Blake Bortles, um, we, you know, obviously Russell Wilson has to be thrown in there now, but uh, Kyle Orton has been a number of, you know, mid-tier at best uh, kind of guys, and I would say he's brought the best out of uh, almost every one of those guys at his stop, and Aaron Rodgers is one of his most vocal fans, even mentioning that he brought a lot of fun to the offense in the quarterback room. He made concepts very simple, and we know that uh, Nathaniel Hackett has been the best coordinator to um, provide the best seasons that Aaron Rodgers done in his star-studded career. So that is a starting point for us. Now, I think it's worth mentioning that with Chad Henney, uh, he got to play with Hackett from uh, 2015 to 2017, and he's known him in two roles in that span, quarterback coach, um, and then as an offensive coordinator. So he's getting uh, his insights from both ends. And he had this to say, I think he's an unbelievable coach. He's very similar to coach Andy Reid in that he sees the game like the quarterback. He communicates to the quarterback. Um, and then obviously this year, everyone is you know mentioning the Denver Broncos stuff. He says he doesn't see it that way. He just feels like he's got too much brain power, too much love for the game. Too much emotion that he'll be back on his feet and he'll lead the Jets to a better place. Um, and I was actually pretty high on uh, Nathaniel Hackett once I dove, uh, you know, dived into the career to see what the the background looked like, who he's worked with, how he's tried to elevate teams, and what his, uh, you know, offensive philosophy is, and how he likes to implement things. Um, and Chad Henney actually was able to provide some insights on that as well in terms of what the play calling, playbook development may look like. We have different formations that we run. We'll have a run. We'll have a couple of passes off of it. Everything kind of meshes and looks the same. If they had a system last year with different verbiage, he can tie in their verbiage with his verbiage, especially with the young quarterback, uh, which was alluding to Zach Wilson. Um, acceptably, <laughs> expectedly um, being on the roster still for the 2023 season. And... I think that is vital. For one, we can bring a veter bring in a veteran quarterback, uh, which uh, you know all the signs look great for that. And as a veteran, you're already expecting that. Uh, you know, in most cases, you've probably been through a, a few different schemes already with the offensive coordinator turnovers, either from promotions uh, or underperformance by the offense as a whole. Maybe the head coach just wanted to go a different direction. Uh, if there's different views and philosophy. Um, and so it's easier for them to adapt. But for Zach Wilson, who you still want to kind of be on a, uh, a very upward trajectory with his development, you want to keep things as straightforward as possible. And so it helps 
that he's still running a version of a West Coast offense. It helps that he'll probably be familiar with a lot of the verbiage that's already going on there. And as we heard from Chad Henney, uh, he'll be able to build that into what they're doing in year one, uh, which to go back to kind of that one-on-one session that we've heard Robert Sala mention when he had Michael LaFleur under him. So there are some other things, um, and I'm going to end up covering this in a different video. I think there's a number of players that we can expect Nathaniel Hackett to help boost right away in regards to what we've seen and you know what Chad Henney's mentioned about uh, how he plans to employ an offense. But the ability to not have um, you know a lot of predictability right away I think is a great thing. You line up in the same formation, you have no idea if it's a run, if it's a pass, who may be the hot read, who may be a target. I think that's something that's missed for a while. A lot of what we've tried to do in recent years has been uh, motion offenses that have been vastly ineffective for the most part. Um, and that's probably due to a lot of overcomplication with what we've seen. That's been the biggest knock on Mike LaFleur, uh, you know, potentially during his tenure here is that his offense was uh, one that was very hard to adjust to. But there's a case that maybe that's not the issue. We've seen Garrett Wilson still be very effective. Um, we've seen, you know, Tyler Conklin essentially show out one of our best seasons uh, from a tight end ever. But let me know what your guys' thoughts are. I'm high on Nathaniel Hackett, as with anybody in the New York Jets organization. Once they come in, they have my full support. Regardless of how bad I think the actual hire is, I pray for the best. But uh, I think in this case, Nathaniel Hackett really is uh, one of the best candidates we could have got. I was still a personal fan of uh, Brian Johnson from the Eagles. Um, but who's to say we still can't snag somebody like that for our senior assistant position? But whatever. We'll let that be. We'll see what news floods in. Let me know what your guys' thoughts are. How do you feel about Nathaniel Hackett? Are you leaning more heavily on the recent experience that we've seen with the Denver Broncos? Or are you relying on uh, him uplifting a lot of the offense that we've seen him do since his days with the, the Jacksonville Jaguars? Appreciate you guys. I'll catch you again. Peace.